a wedding planner neglecting her own love life in Hallmark's original film called So You Said Yes. It is part of the countdown to Valentine's Day's two-week celebration leading up to that wonderful February 14th date. So Kelly is here. Am I, I saying it right? Do I put a question mark? So, so you, you said, said yes? yes? There's actually uh, uh, not oh. punctuation at the end of it, so it can be anything, anything you, you want to say. So yes. you said yes. So you said yes. yes. Oh, you said yes. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. It can okay, be whatever fine. it is that what, suits whatever. you. But what is the premise well, behind it? So I, I own a bridal boutique for the alternative bride. I don't like sequins. I don't like bows. I, I like the... No glitter. Bohemian, yeah. what? No, no glitter. No glitter, oh, exactly. Perfect. Like the Bohemian bride would come to me, and I am so obsessed with my work and with making all these other women fall in love and, and be hap have their happily ever after that I cannot deal with my own happily ever after. You know, it's the old story. Sure. Oh, look at you there. There okay. you are in your boutique. There I am in my boutique. Yeah. All right, so we're going to see a little bit of, is she, is she neglect? what is we seeing in this clip? Is so she this, this clip here? is when I actually end up meeting the man I will fall in love with, but... She doesn't know it's him. She thinks that he is the groom of the girl in the dressing room, and he's trying to tell her something really important, and she just can't stop talking, and she ends up, yeah. Okay. Missing it. All right. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. I just hope I actually get to wear it. Oh, remember, we've talked about this, okay? Just because your fiancé wants to spend your honeymoon somewhere he can golf does not mean that your marriage is headed downhill before it's even started. You're right. I'm doing the glass half-empty thing again. Well, let's talk about your childhood. Is that when that started? Maya's getting her master's in psychology, and that is why she is going to go back to studying rather than practicing on the customers. Hi, uh, excuse me. Oh, um, she's in the dressing room? It's really good that you didn't see her in her dress. By the way, you might want to nix the golfing on your honeymoon. Well, I just came in. Obviously, the key to a good relationship is both partners maintaining individual interests in addition to what they share together, but in this case, she's feeling a little... Fragile. I thought so. That made... I would think about things that you could do together on your honeymoon rather than playing another round of 24 holes on the golf course. <gasps> My car! That's why I came in. If you hurry, you might be able to find out which impound lot he's taking it to. Oh. Yeah. So when you talk too much, your yeah. car gets towed. <laughs> well, awesome. Yeah. You know? Well, your character is so busy with your career, she doesn't have any time for like a real life or to do. I know. Yeah. Did I, you, can you relate to that? I might be able to relate to that a little bit. Oh. Yeah. When, well, you were very. You're still very busy, but early on too. When yeah. When I did Life Goes On, which was like my teenage years, when all of my friends started dating. Um, yeah, I pretty much didn't do that like at all. I was. Well, I was working. I was a working girl. Look at you. Oh. oh my god. I know, those glasses covered most of my face. <laughs> oh my god. That was but those glasses got me the job, I will tell did you they that. Really? They did. Were they, they did. prop glasses or they were? Those were my glasses. Those were your Yes. They're bigger With than your face. They are, I know. My goodness. So then after you got you went through this, off to college you went. I did. I went did, off to college. Did you find, yeah, how'd you did fare you, there? How I got my MRS um, at Yale. Which is your Mrs. degree? Wow! I wow! Um, I also I also Smart was an art history pants. major, so I did other stuff too. But I met Keith at college, and um, he was an ethics, politics, and economics major, and I was an art history major. We had a mutual friend. I was like the DJ at the party. She was having a wine party, which is I guess what you do at college. Not really. <laughs> yes. Um, so I was changing the CDs, and he walked in with his girlfriend, and it was actual love at first sight. I had to look away and like not talk to him because he had a girlfriend, I had a boyfriend, so then like a year later we ended up dating and... Oh, Wait, how did you end up... Yeah, how did you... Yeah, yeah I know did, more about that. Yeah. Did you stay what do you mean? Did, yeah. did you... Uh, no, I ignored him. I ignored him anytime That's I perfect. saw him That's because I was, I was in love with him and I didn't know it. And um, he asked me out and I said no. And he said, it's just dinner, it's not a date. And so I was like, okay. And then we, you know, a year, like less than a year and a half later, we were engaged. And that's because he got you the lobster and mac. Uh, the lobster mac and, and that, cheese that is all, all you right. need. That's, that's all. Yeah, but, his, but when he did propose, it kind of caught you off guard a little bit. I was, I didn't expect to get married until I was over 30. And I was 23 when he, or I guess I was 22 when he asked me. And he asked me at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which was my favorite okay. place because I was an art history major. Right. I make him take me there on dates. And um, that's where he asked me. And I couldn't think of a reason why not. I'm like, I'm not 30. So it's not timing and the timing in my head, but I, I guess so. Yeah, let's do this. And I've been proposed to a bunch of times as an actress, and I've gotten married a bunch of times as an actress. Okay, um, that sounds just so weird. <laughs> I didn't react in the way that I thought I would. I thought because I've been proposed to and I've cried um, on camera. Right. I've been proposed to and I've been like, yeah, 
this, you yeah. know, and I didn't do that. I just, it was this kind of like. <sighs> Were you going through all those emotions yeah. kind of to react to Yeah, and it was so kind of no big deal, easy breezy, yes, you know, and it wasn't what I expected I would do. Wow. Because I'd never done that in the past. Wow. Well, what was like, when his, <laughs> how long have you been married? 15 years. Oh, okay. So that's great. Okay. Yeah, 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 I know. That is an achievement. That's fantastic. Absolutely. And you have children. I have an eight year old Maggie. Yeah, yes. Maggie. And uh, what, what was the most like romantic thing? Because Valentine's Day is coming up. So, what's the most romantic thing he's ever done for you? Well, he's not like he doesn't like the candy flowers, yeah. cut flowers thing. He just thinks, you know, you send cut flowers, they die. So, our first mm -hmm. Valentine's Day as a married couple, he planted me a rose garden. Oh. So the flowers cool. would live and they're yeah. still there. All the women in our the marriage, went, oh. you know, it's very deep. Did you, would you Sweet. wake up and go, honey, there's a rose garden? Or did you know he was putting it in? I, I think I was on a trip and I came you home from a trip. I might have been working and I oh. came home and he was out there like in his like jeans that were all dirty and he was all sweaty and he had just, he's like, it's finished. Yeah. You know, it was like, it was pretty awesome. It was very sweet. Well, um, all right, let's talk yeah, about you because yeah. I know how you are. Your daughter plays with nothing that has technology. Exactly. Yeah. We try to keep yeah. technology away from her, even right. though she's eight years old. Yeah. So, Romp is my little toy store, rompstore.com, and it was inspired by my daughter. And um, actually, of the toys I brought here today, this is her favorite because all she wants to do is ride horses right now. In oh. fact, she wakes up in the morning, she puts on her riding pants and her little horse shirt, whether or not she's riding that day. Um, and she wears her riding pants and bat paddock boots to school every day. It's yeah. pretty cute. So she doesn't like all the little fluffy princess stuff. She likes she, the little, Yeah, the yeah. whole like fancy like wedding dress thing that no. mommy gets to do when she goes to work. No, no she doesn't. She, not okay. at all. She is a tomboy. So um, I brought this, which is this beautiful um, like little pole toy and it's a little mm -hmm. horse. And for Valentine's Day, I brought, this is a puzzle, it comes apart, it's just a little like that's fun, great. chunky oh, puzzle that's sure. safe for little ones because it's so big. Um, and then since uh, French is the language of love, I brought French bingo. Um, and it's funny, I, I took French in college, so I'm trying to teach Maggie French, she's totally uninterested, but I thought this was a great way to teach a kid a couple of French words, which this is a terrible example, un autobus, which is a, not a good yeah. French word. L'autom, there we go. Um, anyway, so uh, what else did I bring? Oh, thank you. Um, it is the language of love. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I like this idea because it is, you, you bought this brick and mortar store that was basically going under, right? Yeah, and, and, I did. And you said, no, it's not. And no, it was my favorite place to shop for Maggie and I just, my husband gave me the courage to just kind of take it over and even though I've never done this before, it's really so, it's the way I parent and I just kind of like sharing my love of these classic retro toys with people and this is, um, a fairy tale, it's a fairy tale village mm -hmm. because I think kids should believe in magic as long as possible. It's blocks, but um, it can be like a little village, and it's populated with these lovely little creatures. Um, so lovely. And Maggie fairy still days. believes in magic. I mean, she's eight years old. Last night yeah. she couldn't fall asleep, and she's like, "Mommy, could you get me some magic dust?" Because I really can't fall asleep. I'm like, okay, you're in luck. It's a full moon. I'll be right back. And I like, went outside. She heard me like open That's the back door. I went outside, and I'm like, okay, full moon. And I went. Mm -hmm. and well, we she's like. Okay, thank you. I can go to sleep now. And she did. Well, we want to thank you for bringing all these beautiful toys. Absolutely. Yeah, we uh, love seeing them when you come. So you said yes, yes to the magic dust and to whatever else. <laughs> uh, it's premiering this Saturday night, Hallmark Channel, 8, 7 central.